I am just finishing up my yummy homemade from scratch um, Italian pasta with some tomatoes and homemade marinara and some parmesan and I realized as I'm finishing my last couple bites that I've been being watched and I can see the whites of his eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Hi Buster. The whites of his eyes hiding behind that pillow waiting to pounce for when I'm done and I get up and I go to the kitchen wanting a bite. He'll be wanting to lick the bowl, actually. Wiener dogs apparently love Italian food. The pillow's thrown, my dog's gone. Da 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 da. You need to eat leftovers because mama stuffed herself? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm not sure why they absolutely love spaghetti and pasta and tomato sauce, but they do. Like, they don't just like enjoy it, they like really love it. Yum. Mamma mia. <laughs> and I, I mean, I make it from scratch. It's literally really simple. Just, you know, like a can of plain tomato sauce from Costco with nothing added, just regular tomato sauce and a can of canned tomatoes and then add some spices and oh, 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 okay. Oh, that just happened. Oh boy. I think we were corked. Rocky. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're so sweet. It's like, that's okay, Mom. We'll just take a stretch. <laughs> oh, Buster. Buster wanted it all for himself. Buster. And he is cleaning the bowl. <laughs> Rocky, you are the sweetest boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're such a good big brother. Yeah. Would you like a cookie? Yeah, let's get you a cookie. Here. Let's get you like half a milk bone. Let's do that. There you go. Since your brother got the other bowl and ran off with it, you get half a cookie. Bye. Oh, 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 okay. You want a cookie too? <laughs> oh my goodness. He is the sweet talker, man. Okay, well you certainly did my dishes for me. <laughs> did my dishes for me. Here you go, B. You get a tiny little cookie since you ate like a whole bowl of spaghetti. So, we got more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, Erin and Lauren here, and today we are going to invite you into our bedroom so you can see the project we're doing on our bed, um, trying to create more uh, storage this space, so our, enjoy. Sheets, our blankets, um, our winter and summer clothes, and etc. But part of what we've been noticing is... Um, all of the air from the air duct is not getting out, so I'm adding some vents to the side of the bed frame, which I planned on doing. Um, and I do have some videos of this being built, but we should really upload those one day. So this is a Murphy bed, and... I don't believe it's a Murphy bed. Oh, my bad. A Murphy bed comes down from the wall and kind of tips down. So it's almost the same concept though, right? Uh, this is just a bed of storage, but it does have the moving feature. So it, he built it and it has a nice um, headrest too, which he built, which he's going to cover in um, some sort of material resembling probably soft leather or something classy for us that's comfortable and stuff. It's on the list of things, just that's like wrapping the sides. But right now I'm just working on adding vents on the sides so that the air that under here, out under here is blowing out, out under all the seams but it has to go sides so I'm using this piece. It's gonna 
drill. the thing the thing with plywood is you want to cut one side so you get your nice clean edge right here and then what you want to do is you want to go to the other side which I'm going to do now oh okay but then I could probably see it go through the other side a bit. Yes, if you want to go, that'll be awesome. If you want to go in there now, ooh, I get to go in here. <laughs> you can see all of our stored storage bins and stuff. Great concept. even know how a little tiny mouse managed to get under here like we didn't even have any holes in it like I still don't understand how it got under here you can imagine what that was like for us okay I'm moving so you can finish I'm just gonna vacuum oh okay yeah okay so I wanted to show you guys he already put it in but I asked him to take it out again because <laughs> um I want to see how this goes in here. So it's going to be like a filter system, right, honey? For uh, it's a, just a vent, but yeah. Sweet. It went in so easy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rocky. Are you helping? Yeah. Well, Mommy loves you. I will you. actually take the staple gun, and I will staple in here. I'll show you this. Thank you. And I will take a staple. Oh, that's a camera focus. And I will put a staple there. And there. And then this will allow the air to get out of here through this vent. And I actually... And that was where we left off on that project um, for that day on our bed. So stay tuned for more work to be done on that. feeling like the garden is magical today. And look! Oh my goodness, look at this. My uh, hollyhock, which is getting uber tall, uh, has its first blooms. And look at how gorgeous the color is. I had no idea what this color would be. And they're like this dark, almost blood red, with a ruby but purple blossom and they go the whole way up the stalk which I will say is a lovely contrast to the yellow sunflowers um, and then I have another couple stalks one two three four total so I'm curious what all of those colors will be on these hollyhock stalks so I'll be sure to show you guys so tune in to see um what do you think pink white um i know white is super common but it's kind of like then they all look, end up looking like a stock full of uh kleenex blobs <laughs> so i i get super excited when i plant hollyhocks and they turn out to be a unique color the blooms and i will say this i this uh purpley red is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh um 
I noticed this first bloom yesterday and uh, I, I had a feeling when I came out today that there would be more. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Um, and then also with that, uh, it's like overnight the garden exploded. The sunflower has so many heads on this single sunflower. It's my alien sunflower. I love it. And let's go around. And we have a happy, happy sunflower here facing the magical morning sunlight. And then more over here. Oh, there's a spider web up there. Ooh. That one's about to bloom. So magical things happening in my raised garden bed. And for reference, you can see like this is me and these flowers are, oh my goodness. So if I'm five foot seven, I feel like those are at least eight feet tall. Pretty cool. Granted, they are in the raised bed, so take off a few feet there, but that one's almost touching our, our lights, our outdoor lights. So morning magic, just had to share. Stay tuned for um, coming news for curiosities and inquiring minds who want to know what these hollyhock blossom colors will end up being. The other three. One, two, three. Nope, the other four. There's a total of five. So, yeah. Happy Monday! Hello! How is everybody doing out there? Hmm. Just realized you hadn't seen the inside of my fridge. No. Now you have. <laughs> uh, just, okay. That one hasn't been opened. Dang it. I bet I have one that... Oh, it's gotta already be open. Yeah, there we go. Put this one back. There we are. Boop, boop. So, how many of you guys pour your creamer first? And then pour your coffee to let nature naturally stir it. Voila. Okay, now I will be fully ready for the day and for chatting. Mm-hmm. So this video, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, so it is um, a little video just to show you guys literally my favorite snacks. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with these. So these are Greek um, Kalamata olives. They are just so rich and flavorful and I just love them on salads. Uh, I do eat a lot of salads. Um, I love them on just, gosh, I put them in spaghetti. Yeah. Um, the next one are cotton candy grapes. Uh, we do get these at Costco. Actually, we get pretty much everything you see at Costco. Um, form and grill is old, but it works great. So, um, these cotton candy grapes are just the tastiest and most satisfying snack, and I find I can eat a bowl full of them, and I'm pretty full, and um, they're not the worst thing for you. The next one you may have seen in my prior videos, I love um, these delicious sweet pickled beets. Um, you can find these in a lot of salads at like delis and I used to literally like go to like Food Pavilion just to get the beet salad there and then I realized that Costco sells these jars of delicious big chunks of um, pickled sweet beets and those make any salad pop and they're also great as just a, 
a regular snack on their own. And then of course, cherry tomatoes. They are like candy for me. They're probably like candy for a lot of people, but um, they're just like, they'll make any salad better. And I just eat them just right out of the container. Uh, my next go-tos are, not the butter dish, um, <laughs> a stick of butter. No, I'm kidding. Um, so an orange, a navel orange to be exact. Um, each navel orange, for those of us who are trying to be healthier and not gain a million pounds every holiday season, each navel orange um, only has 90 calories in it. And this is a lot of good fiber and fruit. Um, it's my go-to. It's really satisfying. Something about peeling the orange and eating each slice one at a time on the couch in the evening um, satiates me. And it's much better for us than like a bowl of ice cream or cookies or something like that. That literally will go right to my butt. Um, and then my other go-to um, at Costco, they've been started selling Honeycrisp apples in bags. So I used to have to go to like Fred Meyer or Food Pavilion to buy one single Honeycrisp apple and pay like $2.50 or $3 for it, but they're so tasty. But Costco is selling them now and these are one of my favorites. I love to slice it up and super satisfying. Once again, low calorie and then the fiber and the skin is supposed to be really good for us. I am a little bit naughty because I do... I just love peanut butter. So I, it's like so satisfying for me to slice this bugger up and dip it all in peanut butter, which peanut butter is supposed to be pretty good for our heart. And those that you see before you are literally my favorite snacks. Um, and I'm a little bit of a sugar fiend. So probably the reason literally everything you see before you has sugar in it, except for these um, heart healthy Kalamata olives. Uh, yeah, so there's a watermelon here. They're pretty all right too, but it's not one of my favorite snacks. I'll take a watermelon though. <laughs> Alrighty, well, thank you for watching this nutritious little bitty on what I like. All right, hoping you guys are trying to make some good choices for yourself as well. It's a daily effort, so we can do it. Take care.